I mean, Indiana Jones has been a part of your life for for over 40 years. I'm sort of curious, was, was there any part of your last day that felt different compared to when you've walked away from, from any of your other characters? Is there any part of you that's going to miss them at all? <laughs> We don't need roads. Cool. Jake Hamilton, good day, Chicago. Mr. Ford, good to see you again, sir. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm going to jump into this because I got a thousand questions for you. Um, you know, between 1923 and, and the indie films and The Fugitive and Call of the Wild and even Star Wars, I feel like you've been a part of so many projects where the shooting location was almost sort of a character in that project. You filmed in some of the most incredible locations around the world. I'm sort of curious as an actor, what's the most a shooting location has ever affected your performance or your experience on a film? Uh, well, it's affecting it uh, right now. We're, we're working in Butte, Montana. It's, it's the coldest place in the contiguous 48 states. And... Uh, we're feeling a little bit of the of the reality of uh, of life uh, um, in the ranching business in uh, 1923 in Montana. You can't fake uh, that. It's, it's a beautiful. Oh no, you you can't fake that. And it's uh, we're not. We don't have to fake it. It's real. <laughs> uh, but it's a it's beautiful country and uh, and and very. Little of it has been exploited for films, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So, at least a, re recently. So, um, it, it's a beautiful place. One of my favorite um, uh, pictures that I possess is you and me at not in view, but it, at the Cowboys and Aliens junket in Montana. I have a great photo of us. That was a beautiful, beautiful junket. I love that. Um, yeah. I would imagine as an actor, it has to be incredible to play a character over multiple episodes. You get six, seven, eight hours to flesh them out. With movies, you just have that finite two hours. I'm sort of curious, who is a character that you've only played once that you wish you had this kind of time with to maybe flesh them out and explore the way you'd get to do with Jake? Oh, my. I just have to rummage through, through the closet uh, for too long to answer that question. I really don't, uh, uh, can't think of uh, an answer for you right there. No uh, worries, no worries. I'm, I'm going to ask you this, this question really quickly before I get back to 1923, because because you and I have spoken many times, and, and I know that you're not an overly sentimental person when it comes to your characters, but I mean, Indiana Jones has been a part of your life for, for over 40 years. I'm sort of curious, was, was there any part of your last day that felt different compared to when you've walked away from, from any of your other characters? Is there any part of you that's going to miss them at all? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not built that way i mean i'm very happy to have had the opportunity to play him i'm especially happy that we've uh we have uh closed the circle uh on on him uh and we see um we see the character in a different light and mm -hmm. uh, and in, in different circumstances that we might expect and uh and i like the, i'm very happy with the film that we've uh that we've made I'm excited to see it. I, I want to wrap back up with 1923. I think one of the most fascinating things about Jake is watching him deal with the times that are changing. The world is changing around him and he knows he has to evolve or keep up and keep up or he's going to be left behind. I'm sort of curious, is there a change in movie making and in, in the industry since over the course of your career that was interesting for you to have to sort of evolve and, and move along with uh, in the same in a similar way that Jake does? Um. Well, I, I suppose that I, you know, that my career started in the analog world, and uh, and uh, as as uh, as the world has been digitized, so is the movie business, and we find ourselves sometimes uh, uh, working with um, computer-generated graphics or uh, or other technological marvels. I must say, in 1923, it's done the old-fashioned way everything is happening in the camera right in front of your face and there's very little of that uh, additional technology required so we're depending on story and character it was old school and i and i love it sir mr ford i just want to end by saying sir that that i i am a a film fan i'm a fan of incredible stories and so many of the greatest moments of my life watching things on the big screen 
have been the results of you. And I just want to say that you, you've been kind to me since I was a kid at our first interview, I was 18. And I just want to say thank you for, for being so great to me, sir. I really do appreciate you. Oh, kind. Thank you so much. Appreciate Good to see you, my nice friend. To see, nice to see you again, sir. Nice to see you. Take care. Take care. Bye, guys. We don't need roads.